Seven Feet yeah. of Paris. So, next? Kenner, you saw this. I saw this mm-hmm. one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a miss. A <laughs> <of> a miss. <laughs> uh, now, Clint Eastwood's uh, gimmick for this film was to have the actual guys be the actual guys in the movie. He non-professional did, yeah. actors. Um, non-professional actors. He cast the actual heroes themselves in the film, and um, and didn't make a documentary. <laughs> yeah. It it really it would have been such a compelling, inspiring like sixty minutes piece, but the there just wasn't enough plot in the movie, a lot of mundane dialogue. They were just trying to you know the guys aren't that old either. They try to show their upbringing and all that, but they went really elementary school, high school to this event. Right. right. <laughs> 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 But there's a lot of dialogue of them like saying, oh, this beer tastes good. Yeah, the wine too. Mm-hmm. So it's like backpacking through Europe and then the event happens. Were they at um, a wine bar? <laughs> they were. They were at a wine bar. <laughs> in Venice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was just very tough because they were trying to pull out a lot of plot when there wasn't any plot. It really felt like the dialogue, even from the trailer, was so plotting and forced. Like yeah. stuff like... Do you ever think, you know, your life's just pushing you and leading you up to something? I'm like, oh, really? The third act? Yeah. Is that what we're being pushed to? <laughs> so Have it you really ever gotten really, on a train and yeah. thought something big was going to happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it felt like exactly that. Yeah. Like, I'm like oh, okay, so you have to fill an hour before we get to this event. Yes, it, exactly. So they pulled out all the cliches. They tried to find grand scenes that would try to foreshadow stuff to come. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. Then the the event happened itself, and um, you know if if Eastwood really wanted to really do something controversial, should have cast the attacker as well <laughs> <laughs> as part of his sentencing. <laughs> he had to appear in the movie, get his ass kicked all over yeah. again, <laughs> and go back to jail. <laughs> Just yeah, we're gonna pay you a scale to show up in an orange jumpsuit uh, yeah. with actual yeah. guards. <laughs> Um, but for the and for our heroes also uh, the toughest way to get a sad card by far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask you this: So, have you watched many other Clint Eastwood directed films, and how did you compare it to that? I have. Um, personally, I think he's been on a decline. Uh huh. Um, each and every one, like the last one, I think I really, really, really loved was Unforgiven. Mm-hmm. That was a I while ago. That was a long time ago, and I think there was a big That's way chunk. before he started talking to the chair at the Republican Yeah, Convention. yeah, yeah, yeah. Way before. So that would have been yeah. like 92, so that's like 25 years ago. And then, to me, I don't remember anything that um, impactful. Then I really liked Million Dollar Baby. Right. Million Dollar and Baby. And that was, was probably good. maybe yeah. 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. And then there was um, Gran Torino. Also had... Uh, but, um, I, I think it was after Unforgiven. Yeah, it had to be. We, didn't we have Sands of Letters from Iwo Jima? Well, I, I brought his list up here. Okay. So, yeah. so, um, the, so Sully was the last one he did, which I thought that was a pretty interesting movie. American Sniper, mm-hmm. I, I, did, I did like that. J. Edgar kind of wasn't that great. Hereafter yeah. was a little all over. Invictus, I thought, was good. Gran Torino was good. Oh, yeah, I liked American Sniper, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mystic American River. Sniper, that's true. I forget mm-hmm. that he did that one. But Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima was right. like the Japanese version and the American version of basically the right. same events. It was, uh, yeah, they were kind of like companion pieces mm-hmm. the way they were released. Um, I mean, Mystic and, Rivers. And they were both good. Yeah. Mystic Rivers, great. Mm, Midnight in the Garden of Evil, no. <laughs> that was not a great one. No. Space Cowboys. <laughs> so 15 to 17 might be his worst one. Uh, <laughs> maybe also because he didn't have real actors <laughs> yeah Gran Torino was okay yeah yeah it's interesting like he's I, yeah I, I feel I mean how old is he now so for the he's is he in his 80s yeah I think late 80s too yeah he's, he's in the American Akira Kurosawa <laughs> <laughs> he is yeah, he was born in 1930, so yeah. he's 88 years 88. old. Wow. Just Same age th- as Christopher Plummer. Yep. Just oh. the fact that they're still making <laughs> movies is <laughs> yeah. amazing. Right. <laughs> and literally, like like, like we just talked, I mean, okay, this movie's a miss, but two years ago, Sully, I, I, yeah. I was really entertaining. Yeah. I know yeah. he's sort mm-hmm. of on this, uh, he's been done a lot of sort of biopic based on a true story t- yes. of big events. Right. I really think this right. was like one of those marketing gimmicks that just backfired. Mm-hmm. Like, like, look, we're using the real guys in the movie. Like, this is not, this hasn't been done before. It's going to be really interesting. And turns out, 
no one was really that interested. No right. one, no, you know, right. people actually want to see movie stars in movies. Uh, uh, but uh, w- what was interesting is that um, it was kind of like you're saying, it was a swing and a miss. Mm-hmm. I, it sounds like from start to finish. Like it, it was, you know, first of all, it was these guys are heroes. This was an event, but it's hard to make, you know, a, an entire movie around, even if you had uh, professional actors. Right. It's hard to make uh, a movie that, uh, around a very uh, short and very brief event. Right. Well, that's the thing, too, that, that I thought was interesting with Sully. And, Kinder, you can let us know how he did this. Like, Sully, he showed the same event from multiple perspectives. Right. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. how he dragged, got it out to an hour and a half. And then the aftermath. He cut back and forth between what the day it had, the thing of the event that of, of Sully, you know, land, crash landing the plane right. in the water. And then. It was an airplane Rashomon. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was airplane Rashomon. <laughs> But the, but that's a yeah. good point though. There's yeah. more to that story than just the right. actual event. It's what happened after the investigation, the, investigation, the inquiry. So yeah. there was more story to draw mm-hmm. from. Is that yeah? Like in fifteen and seventeen, I I might even say you know you don't even see the antagonist until the very end. Oh right. You know about it ahead of time because you know the movie you're about to watch. Mm-hmm. But then a lot of it is just focused on who these men are. And what they do, and then and then the attack happens, and that's why it felt a little me- meandering. It's them, you know, oh. having discussions like, "No, but we got to go to Europe." I don't know. I don't have money. Take out a credit card. I mean, this is like actual dialogue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to get to that ninety-minute mark. To get to that. To get to the point where you guys doing... in their twenties just going through their finances. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Because there's there's absolutely. Well, why don't no you pull stero... out the spreadsheet? Yeah. 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 <laughs> there's no story from the attacker's POV mm. at all. So it's not even like um, you know built to be la- like a like an action movie or, or anything right. else like in that. Where they see standpoint. the guys planning the crime or why they're doing it. Right, or... right, right. That would be interesting Nothing. too. Right, yeah, right. Because I could have filled in some more time. Yeah. Right, it could have built somewhat of a plot, and then if, if if anything, I mean, obviously what they did was was prevent a horrible tragedy from happening. But mm-hmm. if there was maybe more from a plot angle it would have raised the stakes on what they actually prevented uh, then also, right. you know, mm-hmm. that was tied to something else. So they, you know, chain reaction. Well, if but. you see here, the budget is $30 million. It didn't have that great of an opening weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't think the two guys that played the leads got 30 million. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that, that, uh, that went to them uh, or a large portion of it. Yeah, and I think too the February release date is sort of suspect. Dumping yeah. ground. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so. All right, so All you're right. gonna not recommend it. You don't. You can't. Go right, see. I won't recommend it. Um, I think if people probably do want to get familiar with the story, I'm sure the book is pretty. Right. That'd be the what they mm-hmm. need, <laughs> but not. <Right>. The movie. 